So boys and girls, it's been a while, and we are installing the Mark IV Monday Body Latch Kit, which is here. I'll put a link below all the parts you need, it only cost me about £33, but if you're interested, we're, I'll put a link in the description. Alright, catch you in a sec. So guys, what you need is the Mondeo sort of plastic latch, the Mondeo bonnet lock, and then the cable. Uh, I'm going to install mine into the glove box, and um, that's probably the easiest place to put it because the wire is not that long enough. Well, it's not long enough to go down in the passenger's footwell, and it looks quite discreet and nice down there, so you're not messing with any of the plastics other than the glove box. But first, obviously, get your bonnet up. And then we're going to take the bonnet lock out. So I just set up the camera and take you step by step on what to do. You do require a bit of cutting on the slam panel just to make this fit flush. And the handle is a little bit small. Um, so you need to find a way to make it a bit longer. So you can make some plastic or use a screwdriver for now until someone releases the old plastic bit for it. All right, so I've cut that now. So first thing you're going to do is just take out this, the front grill, and take out your bonnet lock mechanism first, so I'll we'll start with that. take off the bolts on here which are 10 mil socket that one and that one and I take this whole system out <coughs> Sensor down here. Let's take out this whole mechanism. Yeah. Might be a bit difficult if you've got an ECU holder. Go. And that's just how easy they snap. Right, right in order for the bonnet latch to fit. You do need a trim from about here up to the top of this line here. So it should look, you can see on here, so it should look like that. So that's where that bit there is this bit here. And you just want to trim this one off just across there. All right, so I'll do that and then I'll come back to the video. Obviously I probably wouldn't recommend the angle grinder without having the sheet over the thing. But now you want to put this into here like that. Dip that in there. So when that pulls, this will close. Alright, and you want to reinstall it into there. Plug your sensor in.
tighten up those bolts. And then you need to find somewhere to feed this through. So I should cut to the part where I'm back to that. Right guys, so obviously once you've done the engine side bit, you obviously need to find a place to put it. You can put it down here, but I don't sometimes think why I don't reach as far. So I'm gonna put it in my glove box. So I can just do that right there, put that. So I'm gonna take out a glove box, see how far the wire stretches, and then go from there. So Now, I'm going to feed the wire through in here. So let me take the camera off the stand, I'll show you inside. Right guys, so where we're going is, it's hard to see on camera, but there's a firewall here for all the wires. You can see just here, you're just going to poke it through here. And then I'm going to have a little latch here inside. So I'll show you on the other side what it looks like. So if you can see in there, that little, sorry it's hard to get a picture, that little bung in there, with the torch shining, that's where you got to feed it through. So I've tied out this wire, put it underneath the induction kit and I'll feed it all the way through there. little hole if you can see on the back there just line up this with this pretty sure it goes that way what's the handle So, I'll grab a pen. Draw my holes in. And then I'm good to go. into That's all working fine. So, put your little clicker, this back on, and then put all this back in. All right, guys. So that's what it looks like in the box. You literally just give it a little. Can't really see because of the light, but give it a little pull like that. Nice and hidden. Um, I show you what it looks like 
when I pop it and the bonnet pops, alright? I'm going to do it with the uh, without the grill and then with the grill, okay? Alright, so I'm going to close the bonnet, I'll show you guys how it works. That's locked, and coming open. The only thing you need to get is an extension for this because once the grill in, it's going to be hard to get your hand under there. But I shall try and make something up for you guys and then let you know what I've done. So there you go. Right. Try it. So this is what I mean by you need the extra extension guys. Because you ain't gonna be able to get unless you've got tiny hands, you ain't gonna get your hands on there to open it. Even if you cut out the plastic there, you still ain't gonna reach because your hand it gets stuck on the bonnet here. Yeah. It works fine. So I should try and work out something for you guys, but that is how to install the Mark IV bonnet latch conversion kit. So if it did help, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Compared to the days when I was in the lab, only day one to me, all the rest trash. Yo, made excuses, I was making rest. Stop me like nice child, that's too bad. Why you wanna watch your mouth before I pop off in the campgrounds? Nah. Days I wanna rest, no doubt, but I pop off in the campgrounds. Nah.